hello everyone i am back with a new tutorial today today i will demonstrate how to change the skype look uh, what i really mean is uh, this is the typical skype page uh, skype software page and uh, for me at least uh, this uh, image is a little bit uh, monotonous so uh, I want to get rid of this uh, blue color, this uh, uh, tedious fonts and this um, uh, the animation, loading animation here I see when I try to log in. So uh, as you probably know Skype is, an, uh, is a web based app so um, I can change the design and the look easily by using HTML, CSS and the background images. All those things that you see here, this blue image and the loading animation, all are animated image, uh, animated and uh, PNG images uh, embedded on that software uh, for preview. So, first I have to find the HTML, CSS and uh, the images responsible for displaying this picture this uh, design so the HTML CSS and animation stays in this location C drive and then program data I remember once again this program data is a hidden folder so at first you need to unhide the hidden folders in your computer to see this uh, folder program data under program data skype apps login and under this login i have found those js html css and images responsible for the design you see the home page here the loader here so uh, i can change every uh, piece of image here for demonstration purpose uh, i will now uh, display i will now just uh, demonstrate to change this uh, background image and uh, uh, the loading animation okay first the background image background is a typical png image nothing special but you need to remember that uh, this uh, ha image has a particular size 720 pixel by 472 pixel let's see in property section again details dimension 720 by 472 and i have to replace with another png image exactly with the same dimension not big not small and i have to replace with a png image only i cannot use any other image for demonstrating i have uh, put in my desktop one jpg image with the name of 15.jpg this is a wallpaper i downloaded a few days ago and there is uh, a gif image an animated gif i downloaded it from i forgot which site anyway so i have to convert it to png and also uh, to the specific dimension it wants so first of all I need to mention that uh, you need to mm, you, you can't just change its dimension uh, uh, change its extension to um, PNG it will not work I have to change it using a particular software mm, there are many so such softwares available uh, my, such as uh, Microsoft uh, uh, uh has one and uh, the most popular is photoshop so i will go with the photoshop open photoshop and here is my image and what was the dimension dimension was 720 by 472 in the photoshop under image section i will choose image size 720 by 472 okay 720 by 472 now remember one thing you have to uncheck this 
constraint proportions uh, checkbox in the Photoshop otherwise it will um, auto detect uh, your height from width or width from height uh, so um, it will not work if you have to provide your custom width and height you have to uncheck this constraint proportion anyway and okay I need to save it save as I need to save it under PNG extension I will choose PNG desktop location ok save smallest ok now I have got my PNG image with that specific size details 720 by 472 ok now what was the name background.png let me rename it first otherwise I can copy it say it background2.png now it will be background.png okay let's um, just cut and paste it here okay background.png now I will just refresh Skype by pressing F5 and voila I have changed the background image successfully now the second thing is that animated loader uh, the changing animated loader is pretty much simpler because I don't uh, need to worry about the size I just have to rename it according to the name it wants like uh, let me rename it first loader.jf I need to keep the name loader.jf loader okay now let's just and cut and paste it here okay done so I'll now provide my password to login to see if uh, that really works sorry sign in oh I made some mistake I need to refresh Skype first refresh okay now it works see that looks good at least to me okay let's just sign out it now so for demonstration purpose I think this is uh, enough um, there is uh, also the same images uh, under this folder retina but you don't need to worry about it um, uh, unless you are using retina display uh, for my computer at least I am not using it uh, so there are other files index.html I recommend not to touch it because uh, if you um, accidentally change any function and uh, cannot recover it uh, your Skype cannot be opened later uh, but uh, it is perfectly okay to change the CSS files uh, login.css for example mm, let me see what is there login.css uh, pretty much CSS is there I can change it if I want uh, a pr little knowledge of CSS and HTML will help you change for example let's try one thing like uh, what is the long line here let's see to the end it says margin 0 padding 0 border if I change margin or padding it will not look good uh, for example let's take uh, text decoration text decoration says none I'll change it to underline underline okay now save this now if I refresh Skype refresh and you see every text here has underline underneath it see this this and this this everything every text so um, uh, this is not uh, really necessary uh, but uh, if you want and if you have patience to read all those CSS you can read and change it according to uh, your choice so 
for now that's all thanks for watching